There is a flock of sheep stampeding all over Ponty Pandy. There is a flock of sheep stampeding all over Ponty Pandy. Sounds like they're heading this way, sir. <gasps> no, my model village. We'll need to act fast to set up a blockade. So, we'll need Arnold, Ellie, and Elvis to bring all the vehicles down. Then we can block off this street, this street, and this street while we round up the sheep along here. Roger that, Sam. We'll be needing our animal rescue uniforms. up the runaway sheep now, sir. Thank heavens for that. <laughs> Come back here, you silly sheep. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Oh, my poor little vegetables. Got you. Ready, everyone? Three, two, one. Oh. Ah, now it really does look like Ponty Pandy. Come on, come on to the greatest show on. Up here, Norman's Flea Circus. Ta-da! Where are the fleas, Norman? I don't know. They were here. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, let's hear it for my spectacular jumping fleas. Norman! You can do this! Sam? And I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. <gasps> it's Uncle Sam! Come in, Elvis. I found them, and I'm bringing them down. Roger that, Sam. I'll bring Saturn back. I'm sorry, Sam. I should have checked the weather before heading off. 
Yes, Gareth, you should have. Winter weather can be very dangerous, especially in the mountains. Well, you can be sure I won't do it again. Going up into the mountains was very brave, Sam. You think that was brave, Elvis? I still have to tell Mrs. Chen we don't have a great big Christmas tree. Or maybe we do. That really is the biggest Christmas tree Ponty Pandy has ever seen. Well, we can thank Penny for that. She brought the fallen tree down from the mountains. Saved the day in more ways than one. It's a pity Granddad never got to give us a magical Christmassy Christmas. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everybody! <laughs> oh, look! Santa sent a sleigh! <laughs> I think this is the most magical Christmassy Christmas Ponty Pandy has ever had. <laughs> to the pool! James? James? Oh no! Stand back, everyone! Sam! We can't find James! He didn't do his froggy finale and he's He's not... locked in the change rooms! What? How did that happen? I wanted to be the star of the show, so I glued the door shut. <gasps> I'm really sorry, Fireman Sam. I didn't know there was going to be a fire. Never mind that now, Norman. We need to rescue him and we haven't got any fire engines here. Oh no! What have I done? Tom, I've got a plan. I need you back here right now. I'm heading for the changing rooms. They're not on fire yet, but they soon will be. Are you ready? Nearly, Sam. Just slowed it up. Help! Help! Oh. It's all right, James. Stand back. I've got you. Don't worry. Tom, are you ready? We're there, Sam. Elvis? Okay, Tom. <laughs> I've got it all under control. We're safe, everyone, but the fire's still burning. Tom, more water. We'll use the hoses, too. Sorry, James. So you should be, Norman. Trapping someone anywhere is a very dangerous thing to do. When everything's fixed, we're doing the froggy fantasy again, but you are not going to be in it. Ha! Yes, someone else can play your part, Norman. You'll be doing fire safety lessons with me. Ah. That's right. Thank goodness for some splendid firefighting. You did a good job, Cridlington. Sneezes and all. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Fire Captain Steel. I. Uh, no, no. Uh, let's shoot! <laughs> Cridlington! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you found a replacement froggy for Norman already, Bronwyn. than I thought. And the current is quite strong. Boat engines. I'm here! Hello! I'm here! I'm, I'm over here! Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. I can't hear me. Oh! Northwest. 
the tide turns in three hours. Plus, there's a spring current running. Mm, there. That's where Tom should be. And Sam is searching over here, in the wrong place. The wrong place? Sam? Come in, Sam. Charlie, we're listening. You need to change course. Tom should be west of Ponty Pandy Island and a lot further out from shore. Are you absolutely sure, Charlie? I've fished here for years, Sam. I'm as sure as any Ponty Pandy fisherman can be. Penny, Ben, you heard Charlie. Let's change course. Roger that, Sam. Hang on, kids. <laughs> I hope so, Sarah. I really do. Oh, I'm not sure how much longer I can hang on for. Uh, an engine? It's, it's a boat. Hey! Hey! Yes! You beauties! You found me! There you go, Tom! Oh, thanks, guys. I thought I'd have to swim for it. It's Charlie you need to thank. He told us where to find you. Ahoy there! Thanks, Charlie. If it wasn't for you, I I'd still be up there, mate. You're a legend. I guess something went right today after all. <laughs> Our dad is the best. He's the coolest dad ever. All those who agree, sound your horns. <laughs> everyone. Gather in close. I don't know what Sam was talking about. We're easy to photograph. Cheese! Ah! I'd better call Fireman Sam. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink. Oh, with a penguin. Did he say penguin? Come on, we'll take Jupiter. I think we're okay. The ice is melting. Uh, uh, the water will put out the fire. It's an electrical fire, Mike. Water just makes it more dangerous. What are we going to do, Sam? Ellie, you turn off the power. Arnold, you blast the fire with foam. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Sam. Urgh, I'll get Norman. <laughs> Power's off, Sam. Stay calm, Norman. I'm on my way. Ah! Ah! Uh, now look what you've done. Fireman Sam can't reach me. Uh. Norman, use your penguin to skate to me. I didn't mean what I said, Pangy. You really are a super penguin. Now get me out of here! Uh, Come on, uh, Norman. Uh, you can do uh, it. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> now, Norman, this penguin is to help you to learn to skate. You're not meant to play ice hockey with it. Sorry, Sam. And certainly not when there's electrical equipment around. Yes, you knocked over my lights. Only because they weren't secure, Mike. You should have checked those stands properly. What? Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. It's my own fault. And now my whole ice rink's melted. Take me ages to fill it again with my garden hose. Don't you worry about that. Arnold? You'll soon have your ice rink back. On a cold night like this, it'll be frozen by morning. Yay! We can play on the ice rink after all! We're Super Penguin, Norman. I don't need him anymore. I 
can skate perfectly well on my own. Whoa. Uh, help. Oh, oh. Ah, ah, pass to me. Sorry. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Lower the double harness, Tom. Look at that, Sid. You first, Professor. Ah. And now you, Norman. So, you two, what happened there? We are really sorry, Fireman Sam. We won't do any dangerous treasure hunting ever again. I'm glad to hear it. Still, it really is a shame that treasure is lost forever. Lost forever, Penny? <clears throat> Today is Ponty Pandy Pete Day. But sadly, the treasure of Ponty Pandy Pete has been lost. It wasn't my fault. But at least someone's going to be playing the part of Ponty Pandy Pete. <laughs> Aren't they, sir? Oh, uh, yes. Well, uh, I have, of course, been thinking long and hard about this one. And I, uh, um, well, <laughs> great tangled hoses. What was that? Did you be wanting to see that treasure? Penny must have dove down and found it! <laughs> well done, Firefighter Morris. I think you might have found your Ponty Pandy Pete, sir. I have indeed. Ponty Pandy Penny! There you go. I say, it looks marvelous. Shame it has to go to Newtown. I think, in honor of you marvelous treasure hunters, we should open a Ponty Pandy Seafaring Museum and keep the treasure here. <laughs> I think that would be an excellent idea, Professor. I think it should be called the Norman Price Treasure Museum. Uh, no. It'll be called the Professor Pickles Museum for Maritime Artifacts. Boring! <laughs> Will not! Will too! Will not! Will too! Will not! Will too. Whoa! <laughs> oh, no! Fireworks! There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks. Those things could go up like a rocket. There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks. We need you back here now, Sam. Roger that, sir. Looks like this tatty old board was the cause of the fire. 
That was my masterpiece. I'm thinking that might have had something to do with the fire. I'm sorry. I was trying to dry the paint quickly with my heater. Well, you need to be much more careful about where you set up your heater, Mike. Especially around fireworks. Sorry, Sam. Are the fireworks okay? Well, these ones are a bit soggy. But I'm sure we can get some more in time for tonight's display. It took me ages to paint that board. Don't worry, love. Why don't you just go get the one from last year? Well, that's it. Better close up for the night. <gasps> Norman Price! Those coconuts were glued down? <gasps> no wonder poor Trevor couldn't knock them off! Oh, oh Dillies! Oh, oh, Trevor! Look at your big muscles! <laughs> oh, well, that's over for another year, Sam. It was less trouble than last time. It's not huh? fair. Sarah's pizza's bigger than mine. <laughs> my head stuck. <gasps> Just drop the hammer on my foot, eh? <laughs> keep walking, Penny. Just keep walking. Ah, you're back. How did it go? We didn't find one. What? A fire hydrant? No, a waddly penguin. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and Bill and Price and the penguin are trapped upstairs. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and Bill and Price and a penguin are trapped upstairs? Yes. Yeah. Ellie and Arnold, you take Venus. Roger that, Sam. Penny, Elvis, we'll go in Jupiter. Do you think it could be the same penguin, Sam? Chances are pretty high, Elvis. Worry, Norman. Sam is on his way. Ellie, we'll fight the fire. Elvis and Penny, you get Dillis and the penguin. Firefighter Phyllis. Firefighter Sam. Air 100%. It's the Waddly Penguin! Quickly, Elvis! <laughs> Hello, Waddly Penguin! <laughs> Ooh, he smells all fishy! I'm sorry I didn't take the penguin back to I just thought it might like to live in my house. You need to know how to look after an animal before you try to give it a home, Norman. Animals are kept in exactly the right habitat in a zoo and have expert keepers looking after them. And I should have been more careful with those scented candles, Sam, and not block the door with those boxes. Well, I'm sure you won't be doing that again, Dillis. Um, uh, Lizzie, uh, who's gonna get the reward? Reward? What reward? The reward for finding the Wadley Penguin. A year's free pass to Newtown Zoo. I didn't even know there was a reward. But I should get it because I found the penguin. What? I should get it because I wanted to take the penguin back. Well, I should get a reward for carrying that stinky bird upstairs. We could go to the zoo together, Trevor. Huh? Ooh, ooh, but I drew a picture of the penguin. Ah. Well, I think the reward but should I be mine. Now, now calm down, everyone. I'm sure we can back. work this out. Now, uh, who saw the penguin first? I saw it. I saw it. An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island. An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island. Penny, get Neptune ready. Elvis is on his way.
it a long way. I kept drifting in the current. They're searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Benny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. I told you. It's Ben and Hannah. I found them. We're on our way. It's my fault, Sam. I should have stopped when I felt my shoulder go. Well, we all push beyond our limits sometimes, Ben. Lucky you had Hannah with you. You okay, Hannah? Uh, I didn't finish. <laughs> Off you go. Huh? Finish the challenge. Really? Well, she might need a bit of help. Go, Hannah! Paddle like the wind! Would, didn't we? Yep. So let's have a big cheer for Ponty Pandy's new kayak challenge champion, Hannah.